this is Chris George. I play drums with Sworn In. Um, we're in Toronto right now, and I'm with Pure Grain Audio. I mean, just as you kind of rise up or whatever, as you go through different phases of touring, you start out with a lot of shitty ones, ones with no, no door on the bathroom stalls, stuff like that. We went to Europe, there was a venue in uh, Belgium. It was kind of like, it was almost like in somebody's house, it felt like, and it was like probably like nine or ten people showed up, so it was just terrible time, it felt like it was a warehouse, and I don't know, there's some pretty bad venues out there for sure, but there's a lot of great ones too, but so many bad ones people don't know about. It may be, if anything, it kind of happened more near the beginning, it kind of goes away over time. Uh, even with these bigger tours, like I haven't really faced that as much recently, the last time I recall getting really nervous was maybe when we started doing the Attila tour, when it was House of Blues shows. It was a little bit more of a jump from between tours than the other tours were, so it was a lot different for the last one. It was bigger crowds, and then we eventually got used to that as well, and now this tour is a lot more of a breeze. I mean, one time this guy gave me like, it, it wasn't even meant for me, it was meant for Tyler, a vocalist. He gave me like some key, it said 13 on it. It was just really weird. I kind of just got it and I was like, this feels like it's cursed or something. He said, you should give it to your vocalist. Vocalist wasn't with us on tour for a week because he had like a throat problem and then he came out and like during the time I was like, I kept it and I just felt so, I don't know, I just don't know why I said yes almost. It's that sort of thing. Like I was like, this is just weirding me out. The more and more I keep it and hold on to it. So I eventually gave it to him and who knows where it is now. <laughs> I mean, I'm vegetarian, so the options really, they really vary, and then sometimes the venue catering is like vegetables and like maybe a little bit of noodles, and that's really it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes they have great options for that, and then sometimes it's like real greasy food, no, just hamburgers, stuff I can't even eat, but venue food can get bad. It, it, it's, it has potential. <laughs> Pretty, pretty average bad human smell, like cheesy, sort of like <laughs> body odor and also lack of like changing clothes. And like, I don't know man, it's, it's a bad smell to put into words, you need to smell it to know. Well most of the time, we don't really end up giving away free merch that much because, unless it's like, we almost never end up doing it honestly, but I mean, I wouldn't really call it that crazy, but sometimes we'd be like, hey, do you have weed? And then we get really low down there. We're just like, we were desperate, like, you know, and it happens, we make the trade, but that's not a very common thing. Yeah. So we don't end up even, for more than that, we don't even end up trading merch that often at all. 